We are here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center to attend the HD Hospitality Design Expo and Conference. It's a large event, been going on for more than three decades, and it attracts designers, architects, purchasers, etc., folks who decorate hotels, motels, etc., and also it includes lifelong learners, firebrands, renegades, rule breakers, and risk takers. I can't wait. Something new for the Times, virtual publications. Forge Fabrics out of Fort Lauderdale had a cute idea. They brought pens and the visitors to their booth can, um, and you can see there are a lot of folks who have artistic talent, um, can leave a message. And of course, here in the corner are samples of their fabrics. What is called the social hub. It's an area where folks can come and sit and look at their phones or have a drink with customers, etc. Stopped at Antler Works, Inc. because I like the products. And this is Michael Black, one of the co-owners. And um, tell me about this chandelier. If, if, if I, as an individual, wanted a chandelier like that, what would I pay? As an individual, that on retail side? Yeah. Retail side, that chandelier would retail for about 2600 Holy cow. Holy cow. And the antlers are what? This, this particular piece is an AWC-3. It's an eight-light tall. It's made out of mule deer. Mule deer yes. antlers. Where do you get the antlers? Well, uh, they come from a little bit of everybody. Uh, we're from brokers. We also have high game fences. Uh, and they also come from either private ranches or individuals like yourself. I'll be darned. And how long has your company been in business? We've been in business about 22 years now. Okay, I love the looks of the products. And you're a Texas company, right? Yes, Texas owned, Texas based. Texas based, American made. 100% American. This is Antler Works. Right on the aisle is this beautiful table. It is a product of Created Hardwood Limited. Publications of the industry are here. Hotel Business and Inspire Design. Folks who want fancy bedding in their hotel, this is Down Inc. Manufactured and shipped from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a short little bed, but it still looks very comfortable. How to attract a crowd. Just put some puppies on display. This is uttermost. I stopped at Continental Group because I didn't know what they did, and the gentleman here was explaining that they provide glass for shower doors and barn doors, barn doors and whatever. And glass canopies. And glass canopies. And he gave me a card. Look at this. Neat. And how does this work? So you take this little chip and you put it right in your computer and you have our whole catalog online. Okay, okay great, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. At Society6, because I liked their display, lots of artwork. And Sarah said, how does your company work? We work with a group of artists and put their artwork onto our How many products. artists? We have about 300,000 artists on the platform and about seven million unique designs. Wow, and so if you use their artwork... Um... Yeah, so the way our platform works is artists upload their artwork and then we print it onto any one of our different products. We have about 80 different products in our portfolio. And whatever we sell with that particular artwork, a portion goes back to the artists. Okay, and so a stool like this is, is actually somebody's art. Somebody's art, so you can see we have this print on a stool, we have it on a pillow, and we have it on a art canvas as well. I see. Very so nice. if we were to sell one of these, an artist would get a kickback from that sale. Okay. And your company is in California? We're based out of Santa Monica, California. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Asian Ceramics is self-explanatory. Here is, here are the, the samples. <laughs> Look at this. Can you imagine lifting this and uh, putting it in your backyard? No, it's for some hotel somewhere, I'm sure. Booth. Things seem to be a little more highly designed than I'm used to and came around and the young woman here who was manning this booth said that Kenneth Kobonpui 
she says it in a way that is really nice and I'm <laughs> butchering it. Anyway, he is a Philippine designer and these products may be a little bit more high-end than one is used to. Some of the products are handmade, but very interesting. P Lighting is in Montclair, California, and I stopped because <laughs> look at the huge lights here. The gentleman said they may be used at entrances to restaurants. Uh, obviously, they are large, and I told him, well, I'm getting older and I need more light, but I don't think I could handle a light this large. So we do security. Dharma Kaba was an unusual name. Turns out, originally, this was a German Swiss mm -hmm. company with headquarters in, in Zurich. The, Zurich. In U.S. headquarters is in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. And they have a sign out front that said something about using your cell phone to open doors. Show me that demonstration again. This is David. Being recorded live. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's okay. So it's this is perfect. the Hilton app. So This is where you're staying now. Yeah, so this is the Hilton Garden Inn on South Las Vegas mm -hmm. Boulevard. I checked in via the Hilton app. I said I wanted a digital key. The day of arrival, this icon goes green and I have a digital key to my room delivered to the app. So when I go to my room, I hit the button. This light will turn green when I'm near the door. I hit unlock and it'll unlock the door. I heard a click, yeah. yeah. So basically, when you hit unlock here, a Bluetooth key is sent from the phone, and the radio inside the lock hears the key, and if it's a valid key, it unlocks. When you get close. Well, so with the Hilton app, you can be a little bit of distance away with the normal solution. You physically have to touch the lock with your phone to wake it up. Okay. And when it wakes up, it will hear the Bluetooth key okay. and then unlock. I got it. There's two different ways to do it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a good day. New chairs for your hotel or motel. Here is Gasser chair and lots of samples. It's by Ketel, K-E-T-T-A-L. Halstead says it is a leader in resilient flooring. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's amazing. I mean, through, through COVID for us, not a lot changed for me, which is kind of odd to say, but we had hotels under construction, under renovation um, through the pandemic that kind of skipped over stuff that was going on in our operation. This is Winterland, and of course it is featuring a lot of things that would look good at the holiday season. But they make products for all different holidays, and lighting and canopies with lights, etc. They are an Indiana company out here in Las Vegas to attract customers. More chairs and... More bedding. This chair is unusual. It's from Sika, S I K A, dash design. It's part of the Studio A home display where it looks like pillows are doing the decorative job. But they have lots of other things that they're showing here at Hospitality Design. This is Curry and Company lighting suppliers and look at this display remember lots of old ads for mohawk carpets this is the mohawk group personal studio so there is still carpet the kind of thing that doesn't show one particular spot too badly because this is a modern design. Everything new is here. View artwork on your own walls using our augmented reality mobile app. Scan the OR code and give it a try and then have a drink. This is Fine Art America. 
know a big guy who needs a big chair. This is the Eric brand booth. This must be Eric. What's the name of the And it says here, best booth winner. This is Raphael Stone USA and a big display. Las Vegas trade shows attract exhibitors from throughout the world. These are interiors from Spain. Rest hospitality includes some giveaway um, stuffed animals that seem to be quite popular. This is light wave laser from Northern California, and they do all kinds of things, uh, including doorway enhancements, room dividers, uh, looks like all kinds of stuff, very pretty. What every hotel and motel needs, toilets. This is Gerber. This is a company in California called Urban Surfaces, and they do flooring, for multi-family apartments, students, senior living, military housing, hospitality, places that see a lot of wear, and they do vinyl flooring that looks like this, and some of it is way more attractive than my own vinyl flooring. Table Topics, a company whose factory is in Alabama, and they do all kinds of tabletops, and if I wanted a special tabletop, they would sit me down with a designer and get the job done. Looks as if this was an illustration painted right here at the show. There are some hotel rooms that supply robes and you can buy them from Boca Terry. If you need signs for your hotel or motel or the rooms, this is one of the places that can supply them, EEC Industries. As the sign seemed fun, walls need love, and then this gentleman is here with his dog, <laughs> and <laughs> wallpaper, murals, simplified, and they seem to have attracted a lot of attention. Somebody is here selling the kinds of things I'm looking for in a hotel room, mini bars, fridges and safes. They're just missing the uh, coffee pot, but uh, that's okay. Lex Hospitality, headquartered in Upper New York, is here with all kinds of stuff that one may or may not offer in uh, a room. They don't have the coffee pots here, but they would supply that also. And so far, this is the only booth that I have seen that is selling draperies. This is Leoli Glass Tiles, and they have a lot of interesting art here. And the woman who was here at the booth said, everything is made of glass. And look how beautiful these pieces are. This is a company in Texas, I believe she said. And so on the other side, well, here are. Pictures. But on the other side were. Gowns. And the top part is made of glass. Very beautiful. Style Bangkok, and uh, if you think your gentleman or lady is a king or queen, you can have this kind of chair. I stopped by, this was interesting, um, and this is a system to lift the bed off the floor to make it easier to change, right? To make the bed. To make the bed, and. and all the benefits um, are in this little. This is a patented system? Yes, it is. And have any hotels in Las Vegas been interested? Uh, a gentleman from the Sands came by, Sands Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing, I believe, a renovation, and they want, they're automating. Very interested in our system. Ah, 
Okay, well, the maids would love it, I'm sure. They don't have to bend over so much. Well, we're staying at the Luxor, and I know the beds are like this low. Because <laughs> I know when I get out of it, it's like, oh my God, I'm rolling out of the bed. But I can imagine making... Leaning over. Leaning over. The back even problem. though they're a little smaller, or shorter than I am, but still, they have to. So bend over. what a what a hotel. I mean, if a hotel buys a bunch of these, how much are they? It all depends. I mean, their list price for a single unit or single motor, which lifts 300 pounds, is 395. Okay. And our dual motor, which lifts up to 500 pounds, is four and a quarter. So. Okay. Obviously, we work with them on numbers based yeah. on volume. Buy a whole bunch and oh, uh, sure. the price goes down. But well, it'll be saving money. From just from one lawsuit. <laughs> one lawsuit or workers' comp claim is, it averages thirty to $40,000 for one workers' comp claim. That's okay. This is Easy Made Bed Lifting System. This is R&R &R Commercial, The Art of Play, and they have pool tables and looks like other kinds of uh, fun tables to entertain folks when you're in a beach resort and it's raining. These pillows look very interesting. Looks like they hold more than one person and I was just told they also float in the pool. So you can use them in the pool or uh, on the beach and these are by Ledge Lounger. Brooke Linen looks uh, particularly comfortable and after walking the show floor for a couple of hours I think I will head home for my own bed. It's not nearly as attractive. But I've enjoyed being at Hospitality Design. I get to see lots of things I'm familiar with and meet lots of nice people. Farewell.